Good morning, everybody. So no new clothes on Christmas. And I also don't get new outfits for Easter either because those are traditions. They go and buy new clothes and they buy their Easter hats and all their stuff. Um, it's traditions of men, okay? It has nothing to do with God. So, um, and it's cold outside and I really like this sweater. It's nice and warm. Um, but anyway, um, so today, uh, yes, celebrate the birth, the virgin birth of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our salvation that God sent into the world. So he says, I think it's in Haggai. Is that how you say it? Haggai. Um, yeah, so he says, consider now from this day and upward, okay, from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, right? even from the day the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid. Consider it. Well, you know we're a spiritual house, um, a house not made with men's hands, um, a spiritual house, all in Christ. Christ is the head, and then we're his body. And each of us is a lively stone that makes up spiritual Israel, a spiritual house. Um, so he says, built on the foundation of the prophets and the apostles, with the Lord Jesus himself being the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone, right? He is the chief cornerstone of this spiritual house, not made with hands. So he says, consider from this day and upward. So it's from the, um, from the four and the ninth, the four and the 20th day, so that's 24, and the ninth month, <clears throat> the ninth month, that's September, the ninth month. So, and the word was made flesh. Is that Jesus' birthday? The 24th of September? So consider now this day and upward from the 4 and 20th day, 24, of the ninth month, September, right? So... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, nine months. Um, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. Jesus said he's the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto the father but by him. He's the mediator, the high priest that we go through. Um, so the day that the word was made flesh, now it's not God being born in a manger. It's, it's not God himself. God didn't come down and was birthed through a, um, through a virgin. Um, he sent his son. It's not God the son. It's the son of God. His father is the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Joseph wasn't his father. He didn't have man as a father. But he's called the son of man because he comes through Abraham. He's the son of Abraham through, through David, right? And then through uh, Isaiah and, and Jacob, um, Jacob called Israel, and he's the one seed um, that was promised to Abraham. Not seed as in many, not seeds, but one seed, and it's a spiritual seed um, that, that sits on the throne, and that's Jesus, the only begotten Son of God, born of a virgin in a manger. Um, you know, because he's the invisible, he, Jesus is the visible body of the invisible Godhead. The Father is the Word and the Holy Spirit. That is the one God. That is God. He's one. He's holy. He's spirit. He's his word. He's not separate from his word that went forth. He is the, the God that was in the beginning. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God because it's part of him. And the word was God. That's the one God in the beginning. And the same was in the beginning with God. And then Jesus came on September 24th. Right? Consider this day. That's when the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid. And then we're all lively stones and built on the foundation of the prophets and the apostles because that's the same doctrine. Right? So Jesus is the head cornerstone of this spiritual house. It's about the doctrine. It's about the doctrine that you hold and that you abide in. It's the doctrine. Yeah. It's, it's, you want to abide in the spiritual house um, with Jesus being the head. And that's the day that, and the word was made flesh. That's when the word was made flesh because Jesus went forth and walked in his father's words, his father's commandments. He spoke what the father gave him. He did the good works and miracles and signs. Everything that he did was the power of the Holy Spirit, his father. His father was in him. He was the full, the fullness of the Godhead dwelled in Jesus bodily. He was the body prepared. Um, that's how it goes. So, so September, so consider this day and from this day and upward. Um, from the 4 and 20th of the ninth month. So September 24, the ninth month. How, from September to December, September, January, February, March, April, May, June, August, 
September. So December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So that's nine months. They changed it to December. They changed it to the birthday of Tammuz. If you look on Google, the birthday of Tammuz, um, and, and I think it's in Ezekiel, it says they do greater abominations than these. The women weep over Tammuz. That's what you're going to see um, at, at, in Rome. And that's what you're seeing. It's the baby Tammuz they're weeping over. Um, that's the birth of Tammuz with Nimrod. And in that and that story, they was, Satan. It's a mystery of iniquity already at work. Satan re reenacts and has all these stories come. He he knows what the Bible says. He know, he knows God's he knows God's plan. You know the the serpent. We want to be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. Right? The serpent's wise. Yeah. He he was. You know he was in heaven. He was cast out. Lucifer was cast out. So so um, nine months. Well, September. People are having their their uh. They're, they're doing their things. They're doing, they're having their orgies and they're, um, I think they did this in December. Actually, they, they sacrificed the children in December. So in September they'd be doing, cause they did this anyway. They'd have their orgies and do all their abominations and their, their paganism and heathen ways and doing things that are contrary rebellion against God. Okay. And then nine months go by and a bunch of babies are born. Right. And then, uh, in December, um, Saturnalia, 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 um, you know, they change it to Christmas, but they sacrifice their sons and daughters to Moloch. So that's nine months, right? That's nine months. Yeah. So after they do all their orgies and stuff, yeah, they did all their orgies and then the babies would be born and they'd sacrifice their babies. So, um, yeah. So enjoy today. Um, today. Yeah. It's pretty crazy, right? How can you, how can you make that about, how can you make that about Christ? Um, I'm just finding it hard to make today about Jesus, um, because he wasn't born today. Today was the day where they sacrificed their children unto Moloch. And a lot of people are sacrificing their children unto him today. Um, you know, sacrificing their children unto Santa. Switch the letters around. It's an anagram for the word Satan. And he says, I'll be like the most high. Santa, Satan. Um, they're sacrificing their children um, because these are doctrines of devils. Um, this is not a teaching of God. This has nothing to do with Jesus. This is Constantine um, bringing paganism uh, with heathenism, bringing his pagan um, beliefs in with the church, trying to bring in more people, trying to bring everybody together. Um, you know, that's what they did. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's, that's what they did. So you're still sacrificing the children, um, having them sit on Santa, Satan's lap and teaching them that Santa's coming instead of that Jesus is coming. Um, you know, and, and teaching them, teaching them fables and all these lies, you know, they're not enduring in sound doctrine, um, but imaginations. So it is, it is sacrificing their soul because this is a war on your soul. There's a lot of dark things going on in people's soul. What you believe and what you do, um, you're, you're taking that into your soul. So teaching your kids um, imaginations that we need to be casting those things down. They're high and they're exalting themselves against the knowledge of God. And um, we need to cast those things down. Cast them down. Bring them into the obedience of Christ. Break down those strongholds. Break down those imaginations. Anything that tries to lift itself up. Santa's coming. Oh, no, you're not, Santa. No, you're not Satan. You're not, you're not coming. Okay. You're, you're a roaring lion. You're trying to be like the lion of the tribe of Judah, but, but Satan is, he's, he's seeking his prey. Okay. He's seeking his prey. He's being patient and he's waiting to just snare you. And, um, if he's already got gotcha, you, he's already got gotcha. you. Um, so yeah, we need to abide in the doctrine. If God says, God does say to cast down these imaginations, um, you know, because you're either worshiping God or the devil. Um, there's no two ways about it. You can't, Okay, my minutes ran out, so they're probably going to run out again. I've filled up my trash. Um, but yeah, um, this is what I'm thinking about on Christmas Day, um, this kind of stuff. So, um, all right, um, you guys take care. Bless you in Jesus' name.